So what do you think has, has moderated the, the big gains that we saw back down to the, uh, the $100 uh, a barrel area? Uh, sure. Thank you for uh, having me, having me once again. Um, just a couple of a uh, couple ideas here. Uh, first, obviously, it's uh, is the fact that the uh, Ukraine president has um, said in in the past few days that the uh, uh, ceasefire talks are becoming a little more substantive. Um, and I think I think the positions between Russia and the Ukraine, at least diplomatically, seem to have closed a little bit. And I think the market is getting excited that maybe maybe there is a ceasefire at some point. Uh, in the next few days. And, um, and I think the other part of it is really what, what China has been doing in Shenzhen, uh, where a city of 17 and a half million people uh, just went into lockdown because of uh, uh, rising COVID cases. And remember, uh, we've been waiting for China to move away from their zero COVID tolerance policy, but, but it hasn't happened yet. In fact, a lot of Chinese cities are subject to very severe restrictions which is one of the reasons why we think eventually demand will go back up for oil as those restrictions are, are, are indeed lifted. So. so we haven't really been thinking as but we, we think of demand as being relatively static, but that's an important part because right. right? we're, we're, we're talking about supply and we're obsessed with supply and where we're going to get it and what's right. going to change there. But, but quickly, demand can change uh, as well. Right. Right. And there, there's, of course, the economy too, right? Remember, uh, we've had a, we've had a, a pretty good economic run in the last uh, couple of years because of the monetary and fiscal injections. But uh, as we saw last week, U.S. inflation is uh, scratching 8%. It's likely to head over 8% over the next couple of months. So at that point, I mean, the Fed is going to have to start making some, some tougher decisions. And even if the Ukraine-Russia uh, conflict starts to fade, I think focus is going to get back to the inflation picture and, and how you remove that liquidity, that, that accommodation, and, and potentially these high prices could also have dented consumption around the world. So, so there's a number of factors going on at, at the same time here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.